Hi everyone, welcome to our Luxury Home Channel. My name is Mike and today we're in Port St. Lucie, Florida, which is on the east coast of Florida, a little bit south of Melbourne, north of Boca Raton. We're gonna show you this home behind us, which is in a community called Belterra. This home was built by GHO Homes. It is a three bedroom, three bathroom home with 2,636 square feet of living and the base price as of today, which is October of 2023. It's gonna be $745,990. Now the base price does not include lot premiums or upgrades. Now lot premiums in this communities range from zero dollars all the way up to a hundred thousand dollars for the wider lots with the water view so keep that in mind when you're watching this if you want the current updated price and incentives and right now they have some great incentives because this is a grand opening make sure you contact me directly at 407-487-3030 i'll make sure you get the best incentives that are available at the time of your purchase so let's talk a little bit about the outside of the home and then take you on a tour of the inside so we come up we have a three-car garage right in front of us and then over to the right some nice tropical landscaping with the palm trees and the shrubbery above us we see some really cool slate roofs and i like how the front elevation is with the shutters on the front with the different design different colors the light blues and the whites a couple carriage lights and then we come up to some french doors with some really nice glass inserts let's go inside and check out this home all right so welcome into this home let me go ahead and close the door behind me as i come in the first thing i know is the porcelain tile that goes throughout this home and another thing that I noticed has to be this really cool accent wall on the left. I really like these colors. You have sort of like a light blue gray color and then it's bordered with this really natural color wood going from, you know, on diagonals across the wood planks. And I think it looks really, really good. Over to my right, to your left will be an office. It has a couple of French doors coming into the office. And of course we have this really neat space. We have a window for some natural light, a front window looking out on the nice tropical landscaping. Nice color walls with the light grays and it goes really good with the dark gray cabinets that are all built in here. So we have the built-in cabinets, countertops, little space to do your office work. And of course we have the built-in shelves on this side as well for all your books. So it's a nice little, nice little hangout area with a couch on the other side. You can watch a little TV in here, do some work. So a nice little area. So as we come through, we go back this direction. Now Haley, who is doing the camera work today is by the front door so you get a view of what you see, which is a really cool hallway going all the way out. And you'll see the family room and some sliding glass doors going out to the outdoor living area, but this has a lot of space to go through first. Over to the left is a two car garage, we'll show you that later. Over to the right is a, is a full bathroom. We have the laundry room and then we have two bedrooms and a bathroom down that way just to get you an idea of what we have before we get to the main living area of the home which is the family room the kitchen and the dining room let's go ahead and talk about the kitchen first of course this kitchen has this really large center island really nice big piece of counter work here with the four seating areas and a really cool modern light fixture coming down from the center behind me is a walk-in closet so if you go in here you have plenty of space for walk-in pantry, sorry. Thank you, Haley, for correcting me on my incorrect grammar there. You have your walk-in pantry behind me, uh, so you have plenty of areas for your dry goods. Uh, and then we continue to go over. We have all the nice cabinets and our side-by-side -side refrigerator. The cabinets go all the way around, and of course, there's a really cool backsplash that has the under cabinet lightings also. So as we come through, we do have a five burner gas stove top and of course the air vent to allow all the nice aromas to go out and outside of the house. On the other side, we see the center island with the white cabinets and the dishwasher and the sink. Now the white cabinets go really good with the, like the medium color gray cabinets on the other side. I like that. I like how they have the two different colors. It's very popular right now having two colors, a different color for the center island and a different color for the exterior cabinets. We have a microwave that's built in right here. You just have to be really short to get down here and use it. So, and then we have our double uh, oven. So plenty of space here for cooking your, all the utensils and equipment that you need for cooking. So as we come through, we go into our dining room. It is a round table currently set up for six people to sit around. It's nice. Everyone gets to see each other as you're on this table. Cool modern light fixture coming down from the ceiling. The ceiling is elevated. It is a tray ceiling, but it has really cool wood working going throughout that gives a really cool design. And of course the recessed lights and the ones that don't have the woodworking in it, that looks really cool. And then on the far side, we have the picture windows looking out onto the outdoor living area. And even the screen, uh, covered screen area has that picture area of the screen. So with less metal bars going through, so you get really good view of the water behind the screen. So let's go ahead and show you the family room. So as I come over to the family room, it's a nice size area, especially for a 2,636 square foot house. This is a nice size family room with a couch, or TV. You have the wallpaper on the far side, crown molding all the way around. And I look up, we have the coffer ceilings with that light gray with the white. It goes really well with the crown moldings within each of the um, areas on the tray ceiling as well. So uh, on the far side is a really neat feature. This is your little beverage 
station. We have our refrigerator, cabinets done in gray, countertop, and you have the gray shelves, and of course the uh, really cool uh, backsplash going from the countertop all the way up to the ceiling, a couple of recessed lights above us as well. So let's go ahead and go down this hallway and show you all those things that we skipped when we first came. I didn't even mention the light fixtures going all the way down the hallway, three of them from the front door all the way down. Over to the left, we have the laundry room. So as I come into the laundry room, this one does have a washer, dryer, all these really cool cabinets going all the way around. Sink with the window out there. So if you're doing your sink, you can look out in the side yard. And we have really cool tile as well going all the way throughout. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and take and show you the full bathroom, which is right to the left. So this one here is pretty neat. We have the counters of uh, cabinets, countertop mirror that's framed in the gray and the tub. And I like this tile work that goes from the tub all the way up to the ceiling window for some natural light. So behind this door, just a linen closet. Now on the other side, now we're back to the front of the house. On this side, we have a three car garage. We have the epoxy floors um, and this specific builder, they do some really neat storage. You'll be able to see the little area where it pops out there. That's a storage area for like your Christmas decorations and things like that. So let's go ahead and close that back up. Go down this hallway and show you the two bedrooms. So as we walk down here, lots of hallways in this house. Uh, we have the first one would be a full bathroom, the gray uh, cabinets, solid, solid surface countertops, mirror with the frame. And we have a toilet and this one has a pretty, this is a pretty cool shower for a spare bathroom. So as we come in here, we have a nice tile on the floor, but I like this tile. It's the same tile we saw in the other bathroom, but it's a large shower for a spare, uh, a spare bathroom. And of course, this really beautiful decorative tile going all the way around, a little area for your soap and shampoos also. So let's go ahead and close this door and show you the two bedrooms really fast. So this will be bedroom number two. They have bunk beds, um, nice wood paneling on the far side, like the little couple white, uh, light fixtures that pop out of the wall, window looking out the side yard, closet on the far side. And if we go right next door, we have bedroom number three. Got a couple footballs or three footballs on the, there with some woodworking going on with the dark grays and light grays. We have the window looking out the side yard and the closet on the far side. And a cool little mural of uh, football players on the far side here too. So let's go ahead and go down this other direction. Follow me this way and we'll go see the primary bedroom seat. Now, if you haven't done already, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Both me and Haley will appreciate it. Also, if you're looking to purchase a house in Florida, give us a call, send us a text, send us an email. Uh, my name is Mike. My phone number is 407-487-3030. I have a team of realtors throughout Florida, over 200 realtors, all of them well-reviewed, give great customer service. And depending on what you're looking for, I'll find the specialist that can work with you in the specific area, whether it's myself or one of my partners. So here we are in the primary bedroom suite. Right behind me is the bathroom. So the bathroom is really neat. We have this really cool cabinet that goes all the way along the bathroom with a sink on either side and all of these drawers, plenty of space. The mirror goes all the way along as well. That's bordered with that same gray. We have the window above us for some natural light. Over on the far side is a shower. The shower has that same sort of tile that we saw in the other two bathrooms, but this one does have one of my favorite features, which is the pebble floor. Always like the pebble floor. Sailor's like, you always like the pebbles. Yeah, I like the pebbles. I probably have to do it in my house eventually, right? Um, so we have the tiles with the accent tiles, two layers of accent tiles going up as well. And of course it goes all the way up to the ceiling, which is good to see. Uh, behind this is just the, like a linen, linen closet, towel closet. And then on the far side, we have the water closet. So the water closet has a pocket door so you can close that for privacy if you want so. And then when you're done, just open it back up and you're all good to go. So let's go ahead and show you the closets. So we have one, two closets. This is a bigger closet. So whoever has the most clothes, whichever partner has the most clothes could have this closet or you might have to share this closet because the other one's not as big. Um, but it's bigger than most closet, single closets in primary suites. So you have plenty of space here. You can even put some extra shelves if you want to. Um, but if you have uh, one partner has a little bit less clothes than the other, you have this option as well, where you can, one partner can have this specific closet and have all your clothes and be good to go. So we go through here. Um, we have the door going out to the outdoor living area and here's your primary bedroom, suite, king size bed, couple end tables in your side. We have a like cheer rail going across cheer rail sort of cut, changes the color with the whites and the light grays. Above us is a tri ceiling with crown molding. This really cool light fixture coming down from the center. And we have these really cool windows looking out on the outdoor living area. And of course, the water view behind us. So let's go ahead and go outside and show you the outdoor living area. So I will see you out there. 
All right, so welcome outside. Let me go ahead and close this door behind me. We have some pretty cool tile. It goes throughout the whole outdoor living area. This is a pretty big covered area, but one of the cool features is a sliding glass door. It goes into the family room and kitchen area. This one does open up, and it is a tri sliding glass door that goes all the way back and goes and hit, hides behind this wall. So this whole area can be inside and outside living. So your family room, inside family room, and your outside living room can sort of come together as one. And this is a large covered patio area. So it's one of the larger ones I've seen in this house this size. So you have plenty of space out here for outdoor living with the living room. And then we have a six, per, six person dining set here. All you need to do is put a little summer kitchen on that far end. That's what I would probably do. Um, instead, so you have your barbecue and your refrigerator and stuff done. They don't have that right now, but it's something that you can add later on to any home. And then as we continue to go out, they do have the pool. The pool is a pretty nice pool. You can probably do lots back and forth. We have tanning shelves, a couple water features coming out. On the far side, we have more space with a couple little lounge chairs and areas that you can enjoy the beautiful Florida weather. And of course, behind us, the amazing water view here in this beautiful community. So I want to thank you all for watching. And if you are interested in getting more information about this home or any community in Florida, make sure you give me a call, send me a text or send me an email. My phone number is 407-487-3030. My email will be in the description below. And until next week, talk to you all later. Bye-bye.